Welcome to this coffee break. We're very excited to have JC Figueroa with us. He is all knowledgeable of everything about Milio. So we're in good hands today. <laughs> yeah. So you, a lot of you folks have probably have uh, uh, seen him do some webinars in the past, but we're really excited to have him do this coffee break today. I think he's got a little surprise for us, right? A little uh, extra today, JC. I don't um, know. We'll see. Sure, <laughs> I think you know. Now you're scaring me. <laughs> no, it's all good. Anyway, we're really happy that you guys are joining us today. Uh, feel free to type in, and there's a little meeting chat there. If you have any questions, go ahead and type in your questions there. I'll be throwing them back to JC uh, as we go along here. And, you know, if you ever want to just kind of drop in and uh, ask a question during the presentation, I think JC is pretty open to that as well. So uh, we're, we're here. It's very informal. And we're just really happy that you're here with us today. So JC, uh, welcome and uh, take it away. All right. Thank you. So I wanted to keep today, uh, as Lori said, pretty informal, um, rather than take you to a very predicted or scripted uh, process of adding media. I wanted you, the audience, to drive what media we add. So I'm going to share my screen here really quick. And uh, I'm not quite sure what surprise Lori was referring to, but this is a surprise to me because I'm never in front of an empty Malio library, except for right now. So this is a brand new account. There is absolutely nothing in it. You know, I can go through all the views and they are all going to appear empty. The only, you know, nothing in the map. Uh, the only things in here are the empty Malio inbox folder, which is a default folder that Malio always creates. And the empty Malio pictures library, which again is the default location for my library. I don't even have a vault set up. Uh, and for those of you that don't know what a vault is, a vault is any device that we designate in Malio to hold the original versions of all your photos. So I haven't even done that part because one of the most important things about adding media is having a place for that media to go. If I started importing media right now with only my computer being the only device in my Malio account, all those photos that I added would go to the internal drive of my computer. So if I if I go here to the finder, and if this was uh, a PC, it would be the same. I'm gonna go to the home directory for a PC user that would look like uh, C users and the name of your account. And the Mac is just the name of my account. This is a demo account. And you'll notice that in that home directory, there's a Malio folder. This is what we call the Malio system folder. And this is where when you're standalone, when there's no other devices in your account, as is the case with me right now, that's where all your photos are going to go. If I were to open that folder, you'll notice that there's a Malio inbox and a Malio pictures folder, which happen to be the same two empty folders that I have in my Malio account. So with that blank account and with that in mind, uh, the first thing I'm going to do before you guys tell me what where you want media to be added from is create a different location for my photos to go. And this is one of the things that's the most important in Malio because Malio is not a cloud service. Your photos are not being saved to the cloud or to a magical drive in the sky in any way. They're being kept in your devices. In this case, they would be kept in my internal computer's hard drive, which I do not want because I don't want to fill up my internal hard drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another drive to Malio and designate that as my vault, as the place where the original version of the photos, the full resolution, full size version of my photos is going to be safe. You'll notice there's a couple of hard drives attached to my computer. So I'm going to go to the dashboard, devices. And here, there's a little button for adding a device. I'm going to click that button. Amalia shows me all the different kinds of devices that I can use, add to my account. In this case, what I want to add is an external drive. And I have this Seagate hard drive that's brand new. It's empty, completely empty. It's a 500 gigabyte drive. I'm going to click next. And Malia says, okay, I'm going to add that to your library. 
or to your account as a, as a new device. And you'll notice that that now becomes a device under drives and clouds. And if I click on that device and I click on device quality, it's set up as a vault. So what happens is that anything that I add to my Malia library from this point forward, the full size, full resolution version of the photos is going to be saved there. My Mac Studio is set up as an auto-optimized drive. So Mali is going to try to put optimized versions of my photos on the internal drive. So I can still see my library if that external hard drive is not connected. But it's not going to take a whole lot of space because Malio is optimizing those images so we don't fill up our computer's internal drive. Okay. So with that said, I want to open the floor and I want to I want to know what sources do you guys want to learn how to import? Um, there's all kinds of sources that we can import into Malio. Uh, you know, staying here in the dashboard, I'm going to click the action folder and there is the add files menu there. This is the exact same menu as if I click that little plus button there. So these are the kinds of media that we can add. We can add media accessible from this device. We can add media from an online service. And because I'm on a Macintosh computer, I can add photos, iPhoto or Aperture libraries for those of you on a Windows computer, you will not see those options uh, because those libraries only work on a Mac computer, so you wouldn't see them in Windows. So what do people want to import from? And don't everybody tell me at one. Take it easy. All right, Lori, I think you get to yeah. choose because nobody's saying I anything. <laughs> this is the surprise. <laughs> um, sorry, yeah. sorry, guys, can I interrupt, JC? Um, is it possible Please. that you could try the online services, one of those services there? Sure, and sure. Just, I, can you explain the difference with the online? Does that mean that I could go and grab every photo I've got on Facebook? Absolutely. That's exactly what it means. So right, thank you. When I, when I click on add media from an online service, Malio has currently four different options. This is going to be changing um, later this year. The four current options are Instagram, Facebook, Google Photos, and Flickr. And really what Mali is going to allow you to do in this case is, is if I click Instagram or, or Facebook, it's going to ask me to log into those accounts. Uh, and it's going to show me the photos available there. Uh, with Google Photos, it's a little different. Flickr works the same way as Facebook and Instagram. I do have to make a, a, a note here, a caveat. Meta, the parent company that owns both Instagram and Facebook, completely changed the way that third parties like Malio authenticate against their networks. And because of that change, the current implementation of online import from those services, Instagram and Facebook, is not working. We have been doing everything in our site that we can to uh, get that restore. And we're very, very close, but it's really not up to us. We, we have to jump through a lot of hoops for them to uh, allow us to, to do that. Yeah. But normally, I would just click on there it would launch this uh, browser really within Malia where I put in my authentication for Instagram or Facebook. And then it would show me the option of like the albums or the different containers of photos that those services have. I can select all or I can select the ones I want. And Malia would create a folder in your computer that says, here's the photos that came from this services and they would be in. Instagram, Facebook, Google Photos, Flickr, those are all one-time imports. In other words, you're not linking to those services so that every time you put a photo in Instagram, it also shows up in Malio. It's a one-time import. When you, when you click on it and you import, it imports what's in there. If you want to import again, you have to do it again in the future one more time. Is that incremental, by the way? Is it, that it incremental is as in... Oh, Sorry. in the future? 
Um, I believe it is, yeah. If there's photos already in your library, it's not going to add them again. Thank you. Uh, now, in the case of Google Photos, it's a little bit different um, because there is no direct connection with Google Photos. Uh, one of the things that Google Photos does when it um, add your photos to their service is that they actually strip a lot of the metadata from the photo. In some cases, if your photos are over a certain size, it's going to reduce the size of your photos. So there's a lot of things that happen when you put your photos in Google Photos. Um, I won't go into detail, but I encourage you to, to read more about it. Um, but the only direct connection that Google Photos allows for a service such as Malio is to download albums specifically. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to bring all of your Google Photos library, um, and that's how Malio connected to Google Photos in the past was to let you pick certain albums, but a lot of photos are not in albums. So we changed that and instead we use something called Google Takeout. So when you use the Google Takeout service, Malio basically well, well, Google Takeout service creates a zip file. It creates a downloadable file that you can bring into your computer. And then that file be, uh, inside of it has the photos and it has a separate file with all your metadata. Well, Malio is smart enough to recombine the metadata into your photos as it imports it. But it's important that you follow these steps. And what I encourage you to do if you're importing from Google Photos is click this button that says, I need some help, because that's going to open the manual for Malio. And it's going to take you to the page that gives you step-by-step -step directions on exactly how to download photos from Google Photos. Um, and it's, it's quite involved. Uh, you know, if I switch here to a browser and I bring up... Uh, Google Takeout, which I already had open because I figured people were going to ask me. Um, you'll notice that there is a lot of different data that Google keeps on your behalf. Uh, all of these boxes are data that you can download from Google using the Takeout service. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to deselect everything and only select Google oh, Photos as the download content that you want uh, and you want all your photo albums included you want multiple formats and then you scroll all the way to the bottom past all the different data that google keeps on you sorry i keep harping <laughs> on that it's kind of a pet peeve of mine um, mm. and when you click next step uh molly just says or sorry it google gives you option how do you want to download this data i always select send me a link and um, export one. And that's just going to create a zip file with all the content. And you can choose the size of that zip file. If you have a very big library, you might want to create a bigger zip drive so you don't have as many files to import. And you just click Create Im uh, Import. And depending on the size of your library, this process can take as it says right here, hours or days. Again, this is not Malio. This is Google Takeout doing this. When the process is complete, you get an email. Uh, I don't have a very big library, so I probably have that email already. Let me check my phone here. No, not yet. But basically, you get an email. You click on that email. You download the file. And then you go back into Malio. And when you hit continue, you just point Malio to where that file is. Do mm. not unzip that file. Do not open it. Just leave it as is. Just point Malio to the folder that contains that file and Malia will do the rest. All right. I see that there's uh, a few more yeah. questions up here. There's a couple of questions and Paul's asking about Google Photos, if there's yeah. a way to select exactly what photos he wants, but it doesn't look like it. Well, you, you kind of, there's some JC, it looks like you're muted for some reason. Can you double check that? Yeah, I don't know how that happened. That's, That's weird. weird. Okay, thanks. Um, 
Hold on, I don't know why Google's asking me to um, log in again, but I don't want you to see my password, so give me just one second. <laughs> JC, I did the manual version of this on the weekend for a friend, and I ended up with 12 two gig, two gig files. And it did that oh, for yeah. every file. Every file it wanted me to check, log back in again to and to unzip uh, to download. It's very frustrating. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not a it's not the friendliest thing to do with with no. Google Photos. So, at the end of the day, at least you can get your content though, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. And you know, if you just do it once and then you know decide that you don't want to use Google Photos anymore. Uh, then at least you're done with that and you can use something that's a little friendlier, like, I don't know, maybe Milio. Uh, <laughs> I've encouraged him not to use it in future and he's not. But, it just keeps bloating his Google account. A lot yes. of people unfortunately do yeah. that. I mean, there's a lot of great things about Google Photos, particularly the sharing mechanisms. If you're sharing a lot of photos with other people, those things are, are really useful. Um, mm. So, you know. Um, so to answer Paul's question, if you can select what photos to, to import, the, the only thing that you can do is select an album. Uh, so if your photo, if the photos you want to bring in happen to be in an album, you can select, okay, I only want the, the cat's album. And that's what comes in. Um, once you have that takeout file, you can point Miley to it. So that takeout file, it's in my set, uh, it's in my downloads folder here. And Mali is saying, okay, you have two albums, you have 147 files, they take 593 gigabytes. So Mali is reading that Google takeout files. And then I can change the destination. What I'm gonna do is in my Mali pictures album, I'm gonna create a folder called from Google. Just to keep myself organized, I'm gonna select that folder I can choose to show advanced settings here where I can change the file names or the structure of the folders. I'm not gonna do that at this point, but I just want you to know that it's there. And then I just hit copy and Malio is immediately starting to do that, go, go through that uh, import process. If I go to my folder view, you'll notice now that there's, in my Malio pictures, there is a, subfolder called from Google. And within that folder is the different albums that Google had and all the photos that came in. Um, and because I had some albums in Google Photos, one called Christmas, one called Cats, those albums have been recreated. Uh, but it's as simple as that. Obviously I chose a very small library to, to explain this process, but that is how you do it. All right. What else did people oh. want to know? I like to see yeah. Mac Apple Photos. I'm not clear on the special link that Mali has with Apple Photos. Fair enough. Everybody okay with us doing that one next? Yes. I mean, John was the second one to ask, so I think it's only fair, right? So again, to import photos from Apple Photos, I'm going to go to this Add Media button. And in this case, again, because I'm on a Mac, I have this special option of adding media from Apple Photos. When I click that, it's going to give me the option to add my Apple Photos library. Now, a couple of things about Apple Photos and what library am I am importing. If I were to open the Apple Photos application here on my Mac and I went to settings, here under general settings, you can see that it's telling me what library I'm looking at right now. And this is a library that happens to live on an external hard drive. For most of you, your library is going to be on your home directory in the pictures folder, and there's going to be a, a photos library there. Um, you, the, Library that Malio is going to import is always the system photo library. So even though you might have multiple Apple Photos library in your computer, only one of them can be designated as the system photo library at any one time. So make sure that is the one you want. In this case, I did that intentionally. This is the library I want to bring in. Um, but I wanted to show you that option there. If there's a different library that you want to designate as your 
system photo library, what you can do is you can quit the photos application and either double click on that library so it opens that library, or you can hold down the option key when you launch the Apple Photos application. And it will give you, I'll show you, if I hold down the option key while I launch the Photos application, let's close that so it's not confusing. It'll let you choose what library you want. So notice here, I can choose a different library like, uh, see that's the default library, but those are not the libraries I want. But once you select one of those, you could change the designation and designate a different library as the system photo library. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go back to Malio here. And when I click Apple Photos, it's going to go to the designated system photo library and it's going to link that library. Now, part of John's question was, he wants to understand the special link that Malio has with Apple Photos, and I'll explain that. Uh, when I click Select, notice that there's not a lot of options here. Malio is not giving me a destination. It's just saying, here's the library. I'm going to add it, and you just say yes. It's asking me permission to access all my photos. I'm going to do that. And now when I double click on my folder view again, notice that before I only had the Malio inbox and the Malio pictures, it added an Apple Photos folder. And within that folder, there is now a folder called JC's Mac Studio Library. And all the photos coming from my Apple Photos library are being, excuse me, uh, copy into that library. If I go to my external hard drive, remember the first thing I did was create a destination for everything. So in that Seagate drive that I added as a vault, there is now an Apple Photos folder. Within that folder, there's the JC Mac Studio Library. And within that folder, all the photos that are being imported are going to be added there. Uh, no photos have been imported yet. If I look at my activity window, it's working through it. But as soon as photos start appearing here, the full size, full resolution version of those photos will also get synchronized to this external hard drive. Now, um, about this link between Apple Photos and your Malio library, it is a one way link. So now that Malio is aware of your Apple Photos library, it's constantly going to monitor that library. And anytime something gets added to that library or something gets modified in that library, Malio is going to account for that change and register and display that change in your Malio library account. But it is a one-way link, meaning if I delete a photo in Malio that is part of my Apple Photos library, it's not going to go into Apple Photos and delete that photo. That photo will stay there. So if you want to use both systems, Apple Photos and Malio, keep in mind that you're, you're going to have two repositories for photos if you have a vault set up. If you don't have a vault set up, then your Apple Photos library is the only copy. So don't delete it uh, once you link it to Malio. Otherwise, you'll be deleting the originals. I hope that answers the questions there. John, but if you have more questions about Apple Photos and how that works, let me know. Notice there's a lot of photos on this library. Uh, so Malio is going through it and importing them all. But as soon as those photos come in, they instantly become available. Notice there's some other photos from Google Photos, um, but also a lot of the photos that are coming from that Apple Photos library are being uh, added all over the place. So, so lots of photos in my library, I'm up to 7,500 photos already. Uh, I believe that Google Photos or that Apple Photos library is about 10,000 photos. So it's gonna take a while to import, but I can keep working in Malio, including adding other sources. So let's see what the next question was. Yeah, Paul. Paul. Asked, yeah, he asked, can I add photos directly to the vault using cut and paste on a Windows PC? What is the impact of doing that? Yes, you absolutely can. So. What Malio does with any folder that is, uh, um, oh, notice those Apple photos are coming in to that vault. Any folder that is uh, a part of the Malio library, in other words, any folder that is a link folder in Malio, 
you can add media directly to those folders and Malia will instantly recognize those changes. What you wanna know is whether a folder is a link folder or not. So for that, I'm gonna go here to devices and I'm gonna click on that CK drive, which is my vault. And notice there's within the information about the CK drive, there's a link folders command here. And it's saying, oh yeah, you have three folders, the Malio inbox, the Malio pictures and the Malio photos. In the, uh, and it, if you click on any folder, it shows you the path to that folder. So if I want to add more photos into my Malio pictures folder in that vault, all I have to do is go to that path, go to that location. So I'm going to do that in the finder. Again, if you are on a Windows computer, you do the same thing using Windows File Explorer. So I'm going to open two windows here. I'm going to uh, open uh, a tab here. with. I have a drive called Source, cleverly enough because that's going to be the source of my photos. And then here on my Seagate drive, where my Malio vault is, I'm going to open that Malio pictures folder. Right now, the only folder in there is that from Google folder. Uh, and I'm going to take this, this folder here that says more photos. It's a small folder. I'm going to do that intentional. I'm going to copy that to the Malio pictures folder inside my vault, Malio is going to recognize now that a new folder uh, has been added and it will add that folder uh, oh, over here. Uh, it will add that folder next to the from Google folder. Now, keep in mind, there is a big import happening but in just a little while, you'll see something here that says scanning folders. And the next time that Malio scans that Malio pictures folder, it'll recognize, there it goes. It recognized that there was a new folder added with more photos and it's importing those photos directly. This is really useful if you're scanning photos, for example. Um, so in my regular library, where I keep my, my own personal photos, I have a folder called scans. And I have my scanners set up to save directly to that folder. So every time I scan a new photo, they go to that folder and they instantly appear in my Malio Photos library. All right, Paul, I hope that answered your question. I'm going to move on to, I believe, Andrea is the next question we had. My That's husband and I both sync our Android phone photos to Malio. It is my understanding that what I get rid of duplicates in Malio, it does not remove the photo from the native device. That is correct. He and I have some of the same photos on our phone. When we sync again, will the duplicate reappear in Malio? Well, if the photo has been imported from your phone before and you delete it from Malio, Malio's database is going to remember that you had that photo and you deleted it. So it's not going to put it there again. So no, it will not create a duplicate again. Um, and everything that you said is correct. If you have multiple devices added to your account, um, in this case, mobile phones, you can have the photos coming from both those phones. The Malio repository in your phone is different than the camera roll repository on your phone. So when you delete a, fo a photo in Malio, you're, you're deleting it from the Malio space, not from the camera roll. However, you can set up Malio. It's not set up by default, but there is a setting in your phone on each phone called free up space on this device. If you choose that setting, Malio will per periodically scan your camera roll it'll make a comparison against your Malio library. And if the photos have already been saved to a vault and, and the photo is protected elsewhere, it will delete that photo from your camera roll. It's a really good feature and there's a lot of options there. In my case, I have my iPhone set up to, uh, to run every 30 days, so once a month. And it looks at photos that are at least 90 days old. And if the photo is 90 days old, and it's already saved to my vaults, Malio will delete it from my iPhone camera roll. That way my phone always has more space for me to take more photos, but I'm not losing my photos in any way. All right, 
I hope I answer your questions. If there's follow-ups, please let me know. Moving down to uh, JH. Does Malia also import albums that are shared with you or only your library? Um, well, Malia will import albums from some um, applications. For example, when we did the Google Takeout, you notice that some of those albums get recreated. Malia will also recreate albums that come from iPhoto or Aperture libraries. So for those of you familiar with Apple, Apple has had many photo applications throughout the years. It had iPhotos, whoop, my camera turned off. No, that seeing me is that important. Um, so it had iPhotos, it had an application called Aperture that is what I used to use before uh, Malio. And the current version of their photo applications is called Photos. When you bring photos from the Apple Photos application, that is a link as we discussed before. But when you bring photos from iPhoto or Aperture, that is a one-time import. And during those one-time imports, what Malio has done, what the amazing engineers at Malio have done is that they have learned how to read the album data from those applications uh, catalogs or from the databases. And they do recreate those albums when you bring photos from iPhoto or Aperture. Um, that is much easier to do for an application that is no longer in existence, like Apple, iPhoto and Aperture, because we know it's not, it's not going to change. We don't have to constantly reinvent the wheel. It's much harder to do it with a existing app application like Apple Photos. And that's the reason we don't do it there, because it's constantly changing. And, and it's a cat and mouse game. It's, it's not worthwhile. So from some sources, you can recreate albums, but not from any source. So your, the answer to your question, JH, is that it depends. Uh, Paul, so I would have to make an album in Google Photos, maybe call Mario and put individual. Yes, that would be the way to do it. And, and that's, yeah, I agree. That's a good idea. That would be a good way to do it. Now, the other thing that you can do, of course, is you can go to Google Photos and just download those photos uh, uh, and do download them directly to your desktop. Where's Google Photos here? So if I go to Google Photos on my computer and there's a particular photo that I want to bring in, I could download that photo and then just drag it into Malia. So if, if I download this photo, it's in my downloads folder. All I have to do is just drag that photo over to Malio and Malio will um, allow me to, let me move all these windows out of the way. So there's a photo I downloaded. I can tell Malio, okay, I wanna put this in my uh, Malio inbox, for example. All I do is just drag it to that folder and Malio will trigger a copy import directly for that photo. And then I can copy it. And so that's another way of doing it. So if, if you want to go to Google Photos, select a bunch of photos, download them, and then drag them into Malio, that's another way to import from Google Photos. And I guarantee you that that photo that I just brought into my inbox is going to be a duplicate because I had already downloaded from Google Takeout. So that is the risk. Kirk asks, there was a time when I added new folders to the same top level that now has inbox and Malio pictures. It appears now that any folders added most go under the Malio pictures folder, but existing older folders at the top level are okay. That is all accurate, but there is a way to continue adding folders to the top level. Now, keep in mind that when you add a folder to the Malio pictures folder, Malia knows exactly where in your hard drive that folder needs it's going to live. The same is not true for a folder at the top level. So in order to add a folder at the top level, you have to tell Malia where that folder comes from. There's two ways of doing that. Um, but 
in either scenario, it is a length folder. So I can go here to add media accessible from this device. And I can say, I want to link a folder of photos that is in my source drive. Uh, and I'm going to use, I'm going to add, let's show this by list here. Um, I'm going to add, I'm trying to remember which folder doesn't have a lot of photos. This 2021 folder, right? So this is a folder that is in my external hard drive called source. And it's called 2021. I'm going to tell Mali that I want to add that folder and that I want to link it. If I copy it or if I move it, Malio is just going to ask me where to put it, right? It's going to say, okay, I want to put it in the Malio Pictures folder. Or uh, if I move it, same thing. I have, I have to choose a destination. But if I link that folder, notice that there is no destination. Malio is going to say, okay, so this drive, the source drive, is going to be added as a Malio device because I'm linking from it. And then I'm going to, when I link that drive, <clears throat> Mali is going to create a new top level folder, is going to associate it with that device, and is going to um, display that in the Malio interface in relation to that device. And it might take a second here for it to refresh. A lot going on here. There it is. So there's that source drive and the photos from that 2021 folder are now in there. Now, the reason Malio allowed me to do it there is because now it knows where in the computer, where in the storage this folder lives in. The other way you can do this is you, you can fake it. Let's say that I wanted a folder here called uh, scans, right? I want to create a scans folder that's always part of my of my library. Well, I can go to my vault. Remember that vault I created, Seagate drive? And within the Malia folder, I can create a new folder and call it scans. And um, then I can go into Malia and either add that folder from here or from the dashboard, I can go to that device and under the link folders, there is an add button there. So I can add a new folder and tell Malio, this is a folder that I want to be part of my Malio library. I want it to be a top level folder. Just go ahead and link that folder. And that folder will get added as a new source folder. So there it is, scans. And if I go here to the folders view, you'll notice that folder is associated with the Seagate drive. This other folder is associated with the source drive. And now anything I put in that scans folder will appear in Malio. One last thing about this. If you don't want the folders to be associated with a particular device, if you want them to just be part of your library folder to be a, a, a analogous folder, you can make that change in the dashboard. I can go here to the dashboard and to link folders and say, you know that scans folder? I don't want it to be associated with the Seagate drive. I want it to mark, I want you to mark it as a library folder. And the moment I do that, that folder is now part of the regular library. So, Kirk, everything you said was accurate, but there are ways around it. It's just Malio has to know where a folder is coming from. And if you think about it, this makes a lot of sense. Imagine you have two computers, right? If you have a Windows computer in your directory, there's going to be a folder called pictures. If you have a Mac computer in your home directory, there's going to be a folder called pictures. If you link both of those pictures folders, you don't want to end up with two folders at the top level that are called pictures. So instead, what Mali would do in that scenario is it'll say Windows computer, pictures folder, and then under that, there would be Mac computer pictures folders. So you can keep that relationship of devices to folders distinct. All right, moving along here. Andrea, 
Any hope that in the future Malia will allow for a link, we can send to a family member so they can view an album. Say we want to show my sister vacation pictures. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And uh, I, there's more than hope. Uh, this is uh, something that is in active development and will be released later this year. We're going to have two ways for you to share something like an album. There'll be a, a gallery, a web gallery, where you can take an album or a folder and ask Malia to create a web gallery. And then you just send the link to people to access that gallery. And then there's something we are releasing again later this year called uh, account to account sharing. Excuse me, where your sister can have a Malio account, and from your Malio account, you can say, "I want to share this album with this account," and you set up the the sharing, and then your sister will be able to just see that album, and anything you add to that album will appear in her Malio account. So. Both of those things are coming. Uh, they're pretty high in our priority list. So yeah, there's more than hope. It's, it's definitely going to happen. Uh, Paul asks, can you come in on the Android folders? Malia made a top-level Android folder and then added two more subfolders for my two Android devices. But I can't figure out what is exactly going on. Is it a sync, a download, or something else? It is a link. It is a link. Just like the Apple Photos link, it is a one-way link. Anything that gets so for every device in that is using an Android library, in your case, there'll be a subfolder. So there'll be, you know, maybe you have a Pixel phone and you have a, a a Samsung phone. You'll see subfolders for each phone. The photos from each one of those phones will appear in those folders. As you take new photos, those will also get synced. To Malio, all you have to do is open the Malio application in those devices. Malio will go look at the camera roll and it'll go, oh, look, there's new photos that Paul took with his Pixel phone. Let me go put them in the Pixel folder inside of Malio. So that's all it is. And actually, um, I'll go ahead and demo how that works. That's, that's a good segue um, into how to import photos from a phone. So I will do that right now. I'm going to share my phone screen to the computer. There you go. Uh, I'm assuming everybody can see that. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to launch Malio Photos. I'm going to log into the same account that my computer is logged into. Uh, it's an account called JC. Demo two at malio.com. I hit continue. It wants my password in this case. New accounts don't use password, they use login links. They're a lot easier and more convenient, but this is an all account, so it still uses a password. Um, So I am logging into Malio. You'll notice that the first thing it's asked me is to allow access to my photos. So when I tap the continue button here, I get this question, do you want Malia to have access to your photos? You can select certain photos. That's perfectly fine. You can deny it access. If you denied access to your photo, then Malia is not going to create that link between your camera roll and your photos is simply going to add photos from your library to your phone, but not retrieve photos that are taken by your phone. Uh, most people are going to want to allow access to all photos because that means every photo you take will become part of your Malio library. And then it's just completing the setup. It's asking me uh, permission to connect to other devices in my network, which I definitely want. That's how it syncs. And then we're done. So now. I'm going to go back to the computer. I'm going to stop sharing this screen here. And what you'll see is if I go to the dashboard, there's now a new device, JC's phone. And if I go to my folders view, in the Apple Photos folder, there's now two subfolders. One has, uh, let me show the containers here. 
One has the photos that came from the Mac Studio library, that Apple Photos library that we linked before. And the other one has the photos that actually came from this phone. So that is similar to what you're experiencing, Paul. But basically, any new photo I take with the phone will just show up in that folder. But they're all still everywhere else in your library. So if you go to the old photos folder, you'll still see every photo that came from that phone. If you go to the calendar, photos from that phone are showing up th there, like that 2012 photo of, which I think has the incorrect date because that was definitely not taken in Puerto Rico and uh, it was not taken with an iPhone 11, but that photo I believe came from this folder here somewhere, maybe not. Nah, I have this crazy demo library going, but I hope that answers your question. All right. Can I import multiple Apple photos, all iPhotos, and all Aperture libraries? Yes, you can. Um, now, the way you do it is a little bit tricky. So you can add as many old iPhoto and Aperture photos as you want. You simply click this button, click here. Instead of, notice it says that photo, Apple Photos is already added, so I can't add that again. But I can click here where it says Other Library. And then I can navigate to uh, a source that might have other Apple Photos in it. So for iPhoto libraries and for Aperture libraries, that is how you would do it. You can only have one Apple Photos library linked at any one time. So importing multiple Apple Photos library is possible, but it's tricky. and. Uh, Drew, if that is really something you really, really want, uh, add another question and I'll show you how to do it. It's a little bit involved, but it's possible. Uh, Bob says, I am getting ready to scan about 7,000 genealogy photos to a flash drive. I will import them into Malio. I am guessing half the newly scanned photos already exist in my Malio library. How will Malio integrate the freshly scanned imports and what should I expect? Oh, actually, that's super easy. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to connect that flash drive to Malia Photos. Um, and then you'll click here to add media accessible from this device. Uh, let's pretend that this uh, folder, I'm going to go here to the pictures folder. Let's pretend that this uh, folder from 2000 is the, the thumb drive, right? I don't have a thumb drive, so, so let's pretend that's the folder. So I'm gonna click open. What you wanna do is you don't wanna link it and you, you could move it, but really what you want is to copy it. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click exclude suspected duplicates. Now, exclude suspected duplicates is only going to work if the photo that's already in your library is the same exact scan. If you're scanning the same photo two different ways, like maybe you took a picture with your phone for one photo and you scanned it with a scanner for another photo, that is not a duplicate to the computer. The computer is gonna see that as two completely different files. So excluding suspected duplicates in that case is not going to work. Uh, what you'll have to do is you'll have to visually find those duplicates and select which one you think looks better, it's a better scan, and then remove the other one. But if they are the exact same scan, you know, like you already scanned some of these photos uh, and they're in the same thumb drive as the newly scanned photos, turning on exclude suspected duplicate will only import the newly, the freshly scanned imports and not what was already there before. I hope that answers your question. If, if I didn't, uh, let me know. Does Malia also import albums that are shared with you or only? I think we answered that question already. In reference to the previous post about share album. Uh, oh, okay. So you meant when album, when Malia imports your Apple photos, does it only import your camera roll or will it? Yeah. So for Apple photos, it only imports the camera roll. It is not going to import any full, any organization that you do within Apple photos. And that is because the way Apple Photos does that is constantly change it, and it would be it would be a very difficult thing for us to uh, to stay on top of. 
Uh, okay, so next question. Having several external drives at backup, can I get Malia to scan all of the drives for any photo that I have not copied before? Just to be sure, I have not copied some photo by mistake. Um, you can. Uh, what I would do is I would just try to copy those those drives one at a time with the exclude suspected duplicates option turned on. Uh, so basically select the top level folder in that drive that has all your photos and tell Malio, I wanna copy any photos in here that I don't have by having that exclude suspected duplicate turned on. And it'll do exactly that. It'll go through and it'll say, I have all this 3000 photos, but there's a hundred photos here that I don't have. I'll only import those photos. And in the notifications, it'll give you a list here that will say, uh, I didn't I didn't add these photos because you already had them in your library. All right, next question. If you move a source folder, can Malia still find it? Uh, I think you mean a link folder. Um, if you move a link folder, Malia is going to complain. It'll give you a little red icon here that says missing. If you click on that icon, it'll give you the option to relink it. Basically, you can tell it, uh, you can fix the error. You can do it, you'll see a notification right on the folder that you can click on and it'll say, you know, let me find it or reconnect and you'll be able to fix it that way. Paul asks, I just opened Malio my pixel, but no recent pictures were downloaded to the Malio folder. I noticed that it is offline. Okay, so if Malio on your computer and Malio on your phone are not seeing each other, it is very likely that you have those devices connected to different accounts. So what I recommend you do is click here under the more menu, that's the three little dots on the top, right corner of the screen. You can see that both on your phone and on your computer. Go to settings and go to account and make sure that both devices are connected to the same account. If they are, the other thing to make sure is that they are on a network where they can see each other. Uh, so they're on the same Wi-Fi network. If you if all of that is true and you still can, they, they still show offline, um, there's two more possibilities. Well, there's a lot, a lot of possibilities, but a likely possibility is that you uh, added that device twice. So if you have the same device listed in your dashboard more than once, it's possible that you reset Malio at some point without removing a device. So like if I see JC's phone and then I grayed out offline JC's phone too, that means that I added that device twice. You can simply unregister the extra copy. If all of that is not helping you and you're still having problems, go ahead to our support site and uh, send us a customer support case and we can help you or go here to the help menu, click contact Malia support and click fill out the web form and um, then we can look at that for you. All right. I think I answer all the questions that were on the screen. Uh, Lori, did I miss anything? Uh, no, you covered everything and more. Fantastic. Okay. Really good. Good coffee break today. Oh, it looks like Drew might have one more question. Oh, sure. All right. Regarding multiple Apple Photos library, I'm copying photo libraries from multiple devices like old computer, iPads, and phones that I no longer use. Can I give the photo files different names to distinguish it? Yeah, so in your case, Drew, because you are bringing, th these are one-time imports, I'm going to show you a trick. Um, and you can do this um, both with a phone or with uh, an Apple Photos library. From an old phone, obviously you can install Malio and temporarily link that Apple Photos library the way Malio does. And, and what will happen is a new folder in the Apple Photos folder will get created. If, if the phone is still um, new enough that it can support the Mali application, just do that. It's super easy. Yes, you might get some duplicates, but then you can use the dedupe tool to uh, find those duplicates really easily and, and get rid of them. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, you can connect that phone to your computer with a USB cable 
and then import that library as if it was a memory card. And when you do that, you'll be basically you'll go here, you'll click Add Media Accessible from this device. You'll see your phone listed here on the side, and when you click on it, you'll be able to uh, import it, and then just use that copy command with the exclude suspected duplicates option turned on. The advantage here also is that you can um, go into advanced settings by clicking show advanced settings. And what I would do is either change the existing file names. So say, give it a prefix and this is, you know, all iPhone, let's give that a space, all iPhone 8. Um, and what Malia will do is every photo that comes from that phone will be named all iPhone 8-1-2-3, so on and so forth. Uh, you, can, you can achieve the same thing with using the camera sequence. That will name the camera, in this case, the iPhone, and a sequence of photos. You can also add a keyword here. So every photo that comes from that device has that keyword. And that will give you a lot of options once the photos are in your library for organizing those photos and, and uh, knowing where they came from, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the other advantage of using the copy command is that you can put those photos in a specific folder. So you can go here to the Malio Pictures folder, create a new folder and say, from all iPhone. And when you do that, you'll get that folder as an option in the du deduplication tool. So if I go here to find duplicate photos, one thing that you could do is you could add a filter that says any photos that came from this all iPhone 2, I didn't create the folder, but any photos that came from a certain source, like say the JC iPhone library, look for duplicates of those photos. So those are my recommendations. Now for photos that are in a computer, um, Apple photo libraries that are in your computer and, and you wanna bring that library, there is a trick. So when you look at an Apple photos library, and this is getting uh, a little bit advanced. So some of you might wanna just tune this out because it gets kind of geeky and confusing. But if I go here to my home directory and I go to the pictures folder in my computer, there's a Apple Photos library. This is a different library than the one I linked before. Now, as far as everyone is concerned, that is just a file and you can't do anything. Well, it's not really a file. You can right mouse click on it and say show package contents. And that will show you the inside of that library. And one of the things that is inside that library is all of your originals. And if I open that folder, you'll see a bunch of folders that have no sensible names. The files also have no sensible names because this is all driven by your computer. But you could import these photos directly into Malio by just grabbing the originals folder, dragging that into Malio, and that's going to generate a new um, copy import. So I'm going to say these are yet other Apple photos. So I'm going to create a, a subfolder here called um, alternate, alternate Apple library, right? That's where I'm going to put those photos. I'm going to say exclude suspected duplicates. And under advanced settings, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to change the name to camera and sequence so that I don't have those odd names that you see on the files here. Those are hash names. Uh, and I'm going to change the folder organization so that I don't get this weird folder organization of 0, 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. Uh, that's going to be really confusing. Instead, I'm going to ask Malio to change the organization to just organize the photos by year. Uh, and then I'm going to say copy now. So what's going to happen here, in the Apple Photos folder, there are um other photos uh, other folders for every year that the photos came in uh, so basically we did a copy folder a copy function and brought those photos in so i hope that answer all your questions paul
or Drew, rather. All right, anything else? That looks like that'll do it. We're at the top of the hour. All right. Um, I want to thank everybody for joining us today. JC, fantastic coffee break. Really appreciate all the wisdom. Absolutely. Always learn something that, from you. That was a fun one. <laughs> that was great. Very interactive. Okay. All right. Thanks, well, everybody. folks, yeah, have a great rest of your day and please join us again for another coffee break. Look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye.